Hi guys, Remy here, back with another video. So this is a build featuring, where I feature other people's builds. And today we're going to look at this six bed, three bath mansion. So this is on the server Estelon, and it's one of their neighborhoods, Fork Hill. So Fork Hill is like a traditional upper class um, uh, neighborhood. And there's some builds that have like modern um, things, but it's not like every build is super modern and all stuff like that. But... Um, so this is made by Alex. He, I know his actual username is Architect Alex, I believe. Yes. So if you, so once you get here, and I'll have the server IP in the description. Just do slash HTT Fork Hill, and then just go straight, and you'll be at the mansion. And you can also take like um, um a right, I mean left, and you'll have these other great houses. And there's also these. It's it's a very nice neighborhood. So let's get into this. So um, first of all, Esteban is um, has sort of is sort of like Krauss, but not exactly. So they're both like city building servers. They're building like cities and stuff like that. However, there's there's some key differences. So while Corrales has many 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 cities all in one big world, and they're very small. And I mean, no offense, but they're they aren't like as they aren't, they don't get hu really huge because everybody's on their own little project. Estelon, all of the people work on one project at the same time. So right now, at the moment, it's Huntington. And Estelon's projects, like this city has turned out, no offense, but it kind of has turned out a little bit better than Corrales's. Um, but you guys don't, you don't guys don't want to hear me rant. But yeah, so they have a huge world, and it's not like just a, and it's not just this, they have like, um, uh, another suburban place, I forgot its name, but it has, like, many different suburban houses, it has a, a great little commercial area, they have an airport that they're working on, which is huge, it's very, it's very realistic, and many other things, and this is actually, this texture pack is their modified one of, of flows, however, many things are tweaked, like, this is iron ore, but it's tweaked so it can be better suited for, like, suburban houses, so let's get in. So first of all, we got the great stair railing. I like it. It's very like nice. It's very detailed. Um, so so then you got like the um foyer foyer, and you're already great. And something I really like about these houses is all of the intricate like roofs. So you, this is one of the more simpler ones. But then you walk into this room, which we'll get into in a second, and you have this great this great um roofing, and it's not just like flat. You got detail. You can go up through it it's great and you also got these great lighting fixtures so it's not just like you put regular lights he put a gigantic chandelier and you also got like mini ones in here so you have the big coat hanger and slash shelf and i guess some drawers and i like how like in this house it's all very like white and brown because like a wall and you have this nice orange um, coat hanger. So let me go into the second room. This is probably one of my favorite because of the really detailed fireplace. It's just so beautiful. Um, sorry, sorry. And it's very and it's nice and huge and it's really detailed. And then you got like the little living room. And he made something so simple, a table, look very nice in this area. And you can see he actually put lights in there. Covered shelves, and I also like the um, spacing. It's not like super huge where each little little walkway is three, but it, it's it gives you the right sense th that to get here you kind of have to squeeze through a bit. And also the couches are very detailed. He didn't just make like, stair couches where he took this and curved room. He got like he put lots of thought into just every little intricate detail. Like, um. Yeah, like he didn't just take a fireplace, put some stairs, did this, put it up. He took like he made a big fireplace, put buttons, put lots of things everywhere, all of that. I want to walk into one of the first main hallways, and um, right after you get into this room, and you have the um for decoration the uh, polar bear um skin rug. I'm not sure what they're called, but yeah, and you also have like the nice shrubbery and all that. You got a shelf some paintings, and then you got the nice table, and it's, it's fairly one of the simple things, it's one of the more simpler things, it's not like he, 
Um, he, he went for a very simple design, but it still sticks out very nicely. And yeah, he used barriers and, and also nice chairs. And then we go into, um, what is this room called? A kitchen, yes. And he put lots of details. So instead of just going with this, he did the, um, what is it called? What is it? Like he, um, instead of just doing the typical, he went for one of the custom ones. So, and I think it turned out wrong, but like, this is what I mean by custom one. So, don't mean to get off track. So like, instead of just doing this, and this is one of my builds, instead of just doing this, but for more custom design. Okay, but back on topic. Um, so yeah, so in the kitchen, and you also got that very nice, a little, um, island. Island, it's got like a little, um, what is it called? Towel, and all the nice stuff. And you also got the big burners, and the ovens, and blah, blah, blah. I also like how he didn't just go for the, like, dis like, cousin server with dispensers. To, you just have to place them vertically. And then, I can't do it, but, and that makes a shelf. Instead he went for a more, instead he went for this wood area. Instead he went for this, like, nice wood one to make it fit. Instead of just using the dispensers or something like that. And I just have two little closets, nothing huge. And then we also have this nice little sitting area, which, um, it's very simple and modest. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad, but I honestly like it a bit for just how simple it looks. But at the same time, it just, it seems like there's a hidden, it just feels so detailed. But yeah, you got a nice little sitting area, drink coffee, do fancy stuff, because this is a fancy house. And yeah, so I'm going to fly like this fast bit. Oh yeah, you also have this nice little bar area, which I like, and you also have the two, um, balconies, which gives just something really nice to the house. I really like how that he put lots of these, like, balconies and other things to the house, and they got, like, a wine shelf sort of area, seating, blah, blah, blah. And then we also got, we have the office, the little office, he used, um, these are crafting tables. Uh, made to look like drawers because it's a, not like a survival world but yeah he put lots of thought into this like he didn't just do he put like a different elevation made like instead of just doing like a typical pressure plate sign painting he put like and like, uh, like something to make it more like minimalistic a shell and then one of those carpets oh and then we have the garage which is one of my favorite builds not because of its how detailed it is because but because of like because of this little area of how you can push the cars down and like because like it's one of those things that you think like oh it'd be so hard to make in just regular minecraft like how can i make it look realistic but like he did a really good job on it so shout out to him and here actually we'll just go to the basement doing this way and yeah so the basement isn't finished yet um you do have the a fun little uh area over here oh yeah you also have the little um outdoor place where you can get cook some food and yeah nothing too special nice little table yeah we have this we've already seen this place this area yeah, there it is. oh yeah here's home security i, I just like this little area because it's just a little hidden easter egg but yeah but yeah, you got like all the computers and it's a little nice area. But yeah, let's just go back up this way. So I think yeah, that's all we have for this um the first floor. Now if you actually go down here, this this is another way to go to the basement. Um, so let's go to the second floor, and this is the last floor. So it's just a it's a two floor and a basement, two floors and a basement. So let's start off with my favorite room in the entire house and that's this bedroom and the reason is because he took many uh, he did oh is this slime blocks oh yeah like this is one of the things he did like functionality to get the slime box block so it looks like you're jumping on the bed and he, it also kind of feels like a temper peak because i've i've um, sleep on a temple peak, and whenever you walk onto the bed, you're, you're kind of slowed down because it sinks, but, 
and yeah, he took things that could have just been like so easily done. He could have just took like trap doors and done that, but he just he takes things and makes them m more detailed. And with that, it looks really nice. And he also went for, like with sandstone throughout this room, which I really like. And he didn't just go th and like another thing I see in houses is everything is the same except wood. Uh, wooden bed frame, it's all like spruce. Uh, desk spruce, everything was like spruce, but he took like, um, he took, um, sandstone, and we'll get into the other bedrooms, and you'll see how unique each one of these are, and you also got the, um, little deck, and there's the, um, pool, which we'll get into, so, a carpet, more shrubbery, um, this bedroom is not finished yet, so we're not gonna go through there, slime cabinet for some reason, Okay, yes, yeah, so, like, see, now this room, it starts to use more, sort of, like, the, like, um, spruce wood, it's a little like, it's more, like, wood, woody, I guess I'll say, very brown, very nice, it's very dark, though. Yeah, we were actually playing hide on the server, we were playing hide and seek earlier in this, so it's funny. Um, yeah, and now we see this room, and it's, it's actually more of a mixture, because it's not just all one different material, with all slab variations. It's like he got like some sponge, which is, I don't know what to call this block. End portals. These are actually end portal blocks. Which you can use to make use of this nice little bed. And he also used snow to, um, what is it? Is that white? Cyan wool. Um, snow, all that. Made a typical shelf. Yeah. So I'm still new to this, uh, YouTube thing. I'll get better as the time goes on. And then you also got one of the one of the two main balconies, which we actually already saw that one. And I love I just love how it went. I just love it for some reason. Beautiful. Um Oh yeah, you also got that and the bathroom. And again, you see he didn't just take a, like a typical one, because like most I typically do stair, stair, slab, trap door. He took an anvil, all this, made a very intricate shelf. Wait, is that the, yeah. He took, like, what is this typical to most um, people who go on the What's It Face Over Corrales, but I'm actually start doing that. Um, typical bathtub. Oh, I see what he did there. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, do we actually already go down this way? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, and then we have the little pool area, and you have like the typical like showers and okay, what's this one? Yeah, and um, what is this area? Yeah, like a bathroom. And really, you make like a typical uh, nice little pool area. What is this? Oh, that's a map. Cool map. And then you have the little pool area, which I really, really like. I love the, how the, is it called, I think it's called an infinity pool, I'm not sure on pool architectural terms, um, but yeah, so we got that, oh, then we have one of my favorite builders, he did, he, I've seen him, he builds a lot of modern things, he has one build that I'm, I am planning on showing on this, on my, um, series on both Return, it's in a, a completely different area, and not in this neighborhood. Um, yeah, did those. I always see he goes for like the gray, gray sort of um, aesthetic painting, not to bed frame. Okay, let's see. It's funny because here, I'm going to go off topic, but we were playing hide and seek, and one of the guys so was hiding right here. It's funny because let's pretend I'm the, the seeker. This is what he did he literally went through the bedroom looked and didn't notice it even though he was hiding right there he walked right past him oh yeah and he goes got the day covered bathroom no yeah typical bathroom shower and then you got the casa de mousse i'm pronouncing that wrong most likely and i like this bedroom mainly because it has sort of like personality to it so like um, so you can tell all oh, this guy's like a drummer, he, like a drummer. You can make things that like, who lives here almost, and maybe make an RPG if you, 
ever want to. And then you got a nice little bathroom. And finally, a closet. Close it. Bum, 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 bum. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it. Again, but you also have, like, the outside of the house, which I, I love how, like, he puts so much detail in everything. Because, in, like, you can't appreciate the major stuff, like, how it was planned, because, like, it was very planned nicely. But I have to, I, the only thing I can really love about this is the very small details of everything. And I'm not saying that it, the only the smaller details are good. Everything about this house is very good. But you just put so much detail in every single area, and it, and it's not like he did like like what most people would do if they were told to put so much detail, where they would overwhelm it to where a simple curve would be very like futuristic, well not like futuristic, but like super detailed down to the point. He took something simple, but then it looks so detailed. I don't know. That's some yeah. And they got like two little cars. This is like a. Wag a fan, SUV, then big bus for some reason. Well, that's one, two, three. The yeah, cars on the server are very detailed. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. So yeah, that's the mansion. So to come see, just go to the S Stone server. It'll be in the link will be in the description. I'm sorry. Uh, do slash HTT four Q, go right up. Oh yeah, this is one of my other favorite houses on the server. Sorry, it's by Caesar, that guy. He actually has another house care. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, but yeah. Um, tell me if you guys want me to. I'm open to suggestions and feedback and criticism. Criticism, blah blah blah. So if you if you think. That you want, if you guys want me to do a video, let's say maybe something on I don't know Hypixel or anything really. I mean, if I, I can't be like skydiving, but like yeah, I, and I'm not just doing Minecraft videos. I I can do many different videos. If you guys want me to, I'll do a history video or some old honest trailer parody. Probably you guys won't ask for, but just tell me. Also tell me feedback how I can improve. Don't tell me that I need to quit stuttering and pausing. I already know that, and that's on my list. Like, it still tell me to, to remind me. But that's it, guys. Uh, so, have a good day, and goodbye.